Hi, um, this is Sasha May sleeping right here and I'm recording this video from Humboldt County, California at my parents' house. Uh, I spent some time reflecting on my recent experience with Sasha's birth and some of the lessons that I learned. It's been about six months, or six weeks, not six months now. And one of the things I think is important to do when you go through you know, big experiences, I, I hesitate to call them like crises, but personal things that happen in your life that are, um, you know, impactful. Uh, it's important to kind of do like a little self AAR on yourself and in the emergency management world, that's after action report. So um, <laughs> maybe it's not really a report, but just more of the reflective process of what happened and um, really what, what you can learn from it and how you can take that experience and, and be more prepared for um, future uh, decisions or adversity crises that you might go through. Um, so that's kind of what I'm doing right now. Um, and I think, you know, so basically a long story short on it, uh, it didn't quite go as I, as I had hoped, as I had planned. In the last video I kind of mentioned how I was hoping for, you know, this redemptive second birth story. Um, I wanted to have a vaginal birth after cesarean. I wanted to be, you know, kind of a more natural experience, like not so much of a medicalized experience. And I ended up having a scheduled C-section. So um, some would say that's completely opposite. <laughs> But I think that there um, were some really important things that I learned about it that I really um, wanted to take some time to think about. And that is that like one of the things that I reflected on as I started to think, well, you know, how, how, can, I, how can I turn this into a positive and not have it be just like, um, you know, my plan failed. Um, and that's one that, that the experience really taught me to think about um, the values of what was important to me. And I don't feel like it, it, it failed because I feel like there were some important things that, that I wanted to achieve that I still was able to even with this outcome of not being um, what what I had originally hoped for. Um, and that was that, that I decided that the process of how the birth started, how the birth process started versus the ending of it was actually more important to me. So it wasn't so much about, you know, um, that it was a vaginal delivery, but that I wanted some spontaneity in how it started. And if I couldn't have that, then um, I didn't want to follow the path of the induction because that's what I did with my first birth and that kind of led me down a road that I didn't want to be down that was medicated from the start. Um, so in that way, I decided, you know, the, the C-section was actually a better option for me, um, which really, uh, was was a tough decision I would say there were times when I was kind of grappling back and forth well should I just do another induction so then maybe I can have a, a different experience with the same process but it ultimately decided that wasn't what I wanted because I wasn't going to be achieving the spontaneity of going into labor um, on my own and that's really what I wanted so um, the other thing that I thought I really could like achieve um, was a better self-advocacy and feeling like I was making my own decisions versus having, you know, decisions made for me or put on me. And I definitely feel like that was the case with this experience. Um, I advocated for myself a lot more. I knew, you know, what my options were and I made the choices that I wanted to make um, for myself. Um, and so, of course, at the same time as that, I think that uh, there's there's a balance between that self-control as well as having to feel, um, you know, having to, to be accepting of, of what's happening because there was something that I wanted that I was not able to, to um, get in the end and that was, you know, to have that spont spontaneous labor um, because she just didn't want to come out and I didn't feel comfortable waiting a super long time and there was a bigger picture that I had to consider you know I had, with an older child and I had my parents in town and they were leaving they had a plane scheduled to leave and I wanted them to be able to meet her so I really just didn't want to wait forever and you know they were my childcare situation when, when we went to the hospital so um, in that bigger picture, you know, it was more more important that, that we get to meet her and not just wait forever. So, you know, that really influenced uh, my decision. Again, though it was my decision, so I feel really, really good about that. And I think that, that those are some things that I really take away from the experience, even though 
you know, I can't sit with you today and say, oh, I have this great, like, redemptive second birth story. Um, but it was definitely, I would say, a more positive birth story, and that's the way that I'm going to be, you know, talking about it, and that's the way that I choose to look at it and kind of create that own story and that, that narrative um, for myself, because certainly I could look at it as a failure, but that's another really important thing about you know, it just being sort of a matter of um, perspective and what you can learn from um, an experience that that doesn't go your way that some might perceive as, you know, a negative or a failure. Um, so I just wanted to, to give you an update on that and share some of, you know, my thoughts on that sort of after action process I do in my, in my personal life here um, and introduce you to Sasha May.